Even though most Americans would probably tell you they would be happy to never see another campaign ad again, this popular election year tool isn't going away anytime soon. In fact, television campaign ads have been a mainstay of American political campaigns ever since they hit the airwaves in the 1950s. CCTV's Jessica Stone takes a look back at some of the most memorable presidential campaign ads and their evolution throughout the years. I for president, I for president, I for president, you Television campaign ads launched the presidential campaign of Dwight Eisenhower into some 19 million American living rooms in 1952. And with that, U.S. presidential campaigns were never the same. One, two, three. It was Lyndon Johnson who arguably went negative for the first time back in 1964 in what's now known as the Daisy ad. Many believe it set the standard for attack ads. It's an important piece of advertising, partly because it's become so famous, because it only aired once, right? Why was it so memorable then? It was so memorable in part because television news repeatedly showed the image to voters over and over. Hi, my name is Harry Belafonte. I'm seated here with Senator Jack Kennedy. Throughout American presidential campaigns, celebrities have played a role. I'm voting for the Senator. How about you? Vote for a leader like Roosevelt. And so has emotion. Who can forget the famous Willie Horton ad in 1988, portraying Democratic presidential candidate Michael Dukakis as weak on crime? Weekend prison passes, Dukakis on crime. Or Bill Clinton's attacks on Republicans' efforts to create jobs. You're looking at the results of years of Republican neglect. How about the circling wolves of terrorism in George W. Bush's re-election campaign? And weakness attracts those who are waiting to do America harm. Or Hillary Clinton's red phone ad during the 2008 presidential election. It's 3 a.m. and your children are safe and asleep. Who do you want answering the phone? I'm Hillary Clinton and I approve this message. It's a lot of what advertising tries to do is it tries not to win over voters with their head, but win over them with their heart. But this year's campaign cycle is shaping up to be way more negative than the last one, with seven out of ten presidential campaign ads going negative, according to the Wesleyan Media Project. But George Washington University political analyst Danny Hay says there's no proof that negative ads actually work. And so what really matters is not so much whether an ad is negative or positive, uh, but how many times people are exposed to the message and what's the message that they're getting. The latest trend has campaign ads going from the big screen to the small one, with both the Romney campaign and the Obama campaign sending negative ads straight to voters' cell phones. Hayes says this strategy doesn't reach undecided voters, though. The primary use of social media for candidates today is for mobilization purposes and these negative attacks on their opponents are one way that they have sought to use those tools to make sure their own supporters come to the polls. Mitt Romney paid just 14.1 percent in taxes last year. So whether it's on economic policy, President Obama used his health care plan to declare war on religion, or about social values, this year's U.S. presidential campaigns will spend millions pointing out their differences, hoping to make the other guy look bad. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.